An emotional return to where she was captured and enslaved three years ago. Nadia Murad was one of the lucky ones who escaped Daesh and remembers what the terrorist group did here to her people, the Yazidis of Iraq. I entered this school with my mother, friends and relatives. Today the village is surrounded by mass graves. We were trapped inside for 12 days and no one came to our aid. We called on the United Nations, Europe, Kurdistan and Iraq to save us, but they didn't, even though they knew 1,700 Yazidis were in danger. Thousands of men were killed after Daesh stormed Iraq's Sinjar province in 2014. Several international groups call it genocide. Six of her brothers were among those who were killed. One of them who survived is now fighting against Daesh in Mosul. Nadia and other Yazidi women were raped, tortured, and sold as slaves. But she escaped, taking her fight to the international stage. Now the United Nations Goodwill Ambassador is back at the Qadiyah refugee camp in northern Iraq, hoping to bond again with the survivors from her village. But she didn't find what she expected. I had believed that with the liberation of Mosul, the majority of the Yazidi captives, over 3,000 women and children, would be found, because all the phone calls and all the information had indicated that that is where they were. Even my own family, my niece called us from there just 10 months ago, but now we don't know anything about her. And now all those who have been freed in Mosul, there's no more than 75 people. Mosul is days or weeks from being taken back from Daesh. The fighting has devastated the city. But it will take Nadia and her community much longer to put the pieces back together. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TR2 World.